When you have a lot of data to plot over time, the horizontal axis in a line chart can get very cluttered. In this video, I'm going to show you a clever workaround that enables us to trick Excel into showing data correctly spaced over time and only label specific dates in the axis. Let's take a look. The trick is to use labels for the horizontal date axis. Now we want these labels to sit below the zero position in the chart and we do this by adding a series to the chart with a value of zero for each date, as you can see here. Now of course, if your chart had negative values, then the date label position values should be lower than the minimum negative value so that the labels sit below the line in the chart. So let's take a look at how we build this chart. I'm just going to delete this one and we'll start from scratch. We can insert either a line chart or a scatter chart. I'm going to use a scatter chart and we'll use scatter with straight lines. Let me make it a bit bigger and bring it up beside the data. Next, I need to hide the date label position line. Now, if you have trouble selecting the line, sometimes it can be tricky when it's on the horizontal axis. Go up to the format tab and then in the drop down, select it from the list. With it selected, I'm going to control one to open the format pane. Let me bring it over here so we can see it. And on the paint bucket, I want to choose no line and that just hides the line from view. Now with scatter charts, the line starts inside the vertical axis, but I want it to start on the vertical axis. So I need to change the date minimum and maximum. So I selected the date axis over here in the axis options. I need to change the minimum and maximum. Now what you see here are the date serial numbers and not many people know that in a scatter chart, you can actually type in the date that you want based on the date format for your region. Mine is day, month, year, but if yours was month, day, year, then you type it in accordingly. When you press enter, Excel converts that date to the date serial number. So you don't have to work it out beforehand. I'm going to do the same for the last date. So 5th of June, 2020, these are just the start and end dates in my data. So now the line goes to both vertical edges of the chart. Now remember, I don't actually want this date axis. I'm going to create my own using labels. So down here in the labels, I want to set the label position to none. Next, I'm just going to get rid of the grid lines and the legend, the legends in the way of where I want my labels to go. Now I need to add labels to the date label position series. I'm just going to select it from the drop down, and then here I'm going to add data labels. We want to go into more options. So you can see it's picked up the value for that series, but I don't want those. So I'm going to deselect leader lines and the Y value. Instead, I want value from cells. Now this is available in Excel 2013 onward. So here I can simply select the dates. They're my labels and click OK. Now we want them to sit below the point and I need to change the text orientation so that it's rotated. And all I need to do now is change the plot area size so that it sits above my labels. Now I have labels that mark the points that I have data for, but they're correctly spaced based on a date axis. And that's all there is to it. You just need to give your chart a title and you're done. A big thank you to Jim Fitch for sharing this clever idea. You can download the Excel file for this lesson from the link here. I hope you can make use of this technique. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful. Thanks for watching.